this is something completely different from my channel, but uh, one of my Harvest Right freeze dryers has developed a uh, pressure leak. So I'm, I'm diagnosing it prior to engaging uh, Harvest Right support. Um, one of the things that uh, you'll, you'll find with the Harvest Right, if you have, you have problems, they have a ton of really good information on their website on what you can do to, to diagnose these, these issues. Uh, this is actually the second time I've had this problem with this same chamber. I've had this for about a year and a half now. And uh, the first problem, the first time this happened, it was this pressure release valve uh, was leaking and they sent me a replacement for it and that, that fixed it. But uh, some of the first things you want to do when you're uh, checking this uh, or starting to diagnose, one, uh, uh, you want to make sure that you have a good seal around your uh, the, the, the gasket that goes around the door. And you can kind of see visually, I've got kind of a thin line all the way around here. That's a good that's a good start indication for it that you've got this, you know, kind of pressured uh, the, the pressure of this these door hinges adjusted adequately. Uh, the next step that you'd want to do is you would power this up and run this through a pressure test. Uh, and you would close the the drain valve, run through the pressure test, and uh, I'll, I'll cut to a video where I've actually done this test uh, and I'll show you that this this flattens out and you get a good half an inch you can see right around this uh, 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 this gasket uh, so that, that just make, just just verifies that the door is really pressing hard against here and there's no pressure coming around uh, around the door uh, so I'll cut to that video and we'll, we'll cut to that test the uh, You'll also see that in this display how to get to the diagnostic features. Okay. So this is this is the pump that I'm using, and this is the hose. I, I've taken it off the side of the uh, of the chamber here. Uh, mostly so that I can get a look inside. There's a little gasket around here. So I took it off and I inspected the gasket. I didn't see any cracks. Everything looks really good. So then I'm just going to take and reconnect this hose and get that in there and I'll hand tight that. And then check again on this one. I don't see any, uh, any issues with that. So I'm just going to connect that back up to here. So I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to thread these on and then reconnect the pump here. I'm going to leave the back open. So that okay, I'm debugging the uh, 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 pressure leak. And I, I remembered uh, there's, this, is, this is the hose uh, that is basically it connects the uh, uh, pressure release valve here. Um, uh, so I took this off uh, and I just thought that possibly this hose might, might be an issue. When I got a new pressure release valve the last time, uh, Harvest Right sent me this hose. And I didn't replace it because it, as you can see the the uh, thread ends are different on where it attaches into the chamber. So if you look in here on the, the chamber on this this unit, it looks like there's this adapter, this uh, uh, circular cowl. You can see there's threads up and above here. This is put on, and then this end was threaded into here. So I just what I just did was I took this off and I tried to unthread this, and this thing just won't budge. I can't get it off. So I, I'm not able to uh, uh, replace it with this new one. Uh, so what I did was I just cleaned this up, and this was pretty corroded, a lot of gunk in here. So I cleaned that up. I'm going to uh, re-thread, re-tape that with some uh, plumber's tape here, and then thread this back in, put it all back, and then I'm going to test, test again.
one other thing I'll note on, the, on this pump, there's a lot of air coming out of here, and it's cold air, and then you can feel the suction here. Uh, so I mean, the pump is definitely working as you know, it's, you can kind of see, I move this down, kind of sucks in, so the air is pulling in here, and it's coming out there in a, good, in a really good clip. So I also took a look here, which is nothing. Tested here as well, but uh, because there's a there's a, a breeze coming through here from the, the fan that's coming through here as well. So kind of I can't really test this, but I, I finger tight, I hand tighten this really well. Let me tighten this. Uh, this one up here, there's nothing. Nothing sucking in here either. So, all right, let's get those logs. So I'm going to first bring the chamber down to below freezing, uh, take about a half hour. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll turn on the, the pressure test and the pump will come on and, and try and get the pressure down. So what I did to, from some of the last test was uh, I removed this hose fitting uh, and resealed it. My intent was to change it, but uh, as you call the this, this uh, collar that's on the threaded piece that goes into the chamber won't come off. So I basically then just resealed this and I also resealed uh, this end. Uh, so what we'll do also is once it gets, uh, the, the once the pressure starts coming down, I'm gonna do a test with toilet paper. This is another test that Harvest Right recommends is I'll, I'll take a piece of toilet paper and hold it near each of, each of the fittings uh, around, around here, also around the seal in the door and see if the if the uh, toilet paper is sucked in at all uh, at any point to see if there are any any uh, leaks that can be detected that way. So, all right, I'm gonna let's go around front. Uh, everything is all connected. We're powered in, powered. We're plugged in, uh, and we're gonna take a look now and start the test. Okay, so here we are, right here. So, first, right, we're gonna. Actually, you go up here and hit the hit the leaf, and this is the functional testing. So the first thing we want to do is is freeze the uh, freeze the chamber. So I'm going to turn this on. So, so we'll, we'll come back. It takes about a half an hour to get the chamber below freezing, and again we do that because once the, the pump comes on, it uses the cool air of the chamber to cool the pump. All right. So let's. Uh, We'll let that freeze and we'll cut back in when it's down. Okay, it's been uh, 17 minutes. It looks to be about bottom down around 1430. It keeps jumping down to 1425 to 1435. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit it with uh, some of this uh, carb cleaner uh, and see if that goes up. So if, what we're looking for, if, if the vacuum sensor is leaking, the millitor number here uh, should start rising. So I'm going to hit it and we'll see what it's going to actually. See, it just broke through. I'm going to hit it, and we'll see if that uh, pressure goes up. Before I only got the wires, I didn't get around the plug itself. 
so it looks like it's going up. Definitely took a big hit. So before what I did was I literally just uh, got around this top, but this second time I, I sprayed it all around the collar. So I have a feeling I've got a I've got a leak here. So I'm going to need to get the the uh, repair kit from Harvest Right and throw the motor around that. But yeah, look at that. That's uh, okay, the last thing I'll do uh, is uh, so I'm going to end the test. And what you want to do is get a. a one of these USB keys, it's a memory key. You want to format it as an MS-DOS FAT file. Uh, and then when I shut this down, you plug it in here, and when you power the unit back up, it's gonna, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna write all the data into this disk key, and it's a folder that then you can, you can compress and then send to Harvest as part of your trouble ticket. So, I think I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to shut down this test and, um, and then uh, save the logs and then notify uh, Harvest Rate and we'll get all the data. Uh, so the other thing I'll, I just want to notice, I you to notice that this, it's hard to see on the camera, easier of it, eye, but this, this seal all the way around, it's a flat, like half an inch all the way around. There, and there's absolutely no... There's just nothing coming in that, that would lead me to believe that there is uh, any gaps in here. The other thing to note is that the cushion I have is well within uh, the rubber gasket. So I put this on to keep keep the uh, uh, keep the free, the temperature in, in the freeze range for the pump. Yeah, it's just won't go down. Before it wasn't going below 1300. I think I got down almost to 1100 in one test. Uh, no, it's just not. It's not going to get to 1400. Shut it down, and I'll uh, capture the logs on the on the disk. I'll I'll, uh, I'll cut back in once I hear back from uh, Harvest Right and see what they suggest. Okay, so I'm just going to plug this in. Turn this back on. And we should see initializing should go to loading. And it's up. So now this is uh, this has captured all of the uh, all the data. So I'm gonna uh, unplug it, upload that to a trouble ticket for uh, Harvest Rate.